What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Y'all see the brother in the background, Cassidy, Mr. Delusional, Houdini, the master of deception. Yep, the master of deception, Houdini himself. Um, I took to Twitter today to try to reach out to the brother one more time. To give the people what they've been asking me. Battle truth. You need to talk to Cassidy. Nobody else can talk to him and challenge him like you can. Nobody else can. They let him get away with everything. He watch you. I say the brother ain't respond to me the first time. But it was amazing. I went to Twitter. And when I went to reach out to him, come to find out he was already following me. I said, oh, I told my girl, I said, oh, he following me already. She said, who? I said, Cassidy. She said, oh, really? I said, yeah. She like, he said, yeah, he watching everybody. <coughs> I said, cool. So I reached out and I inboxed him because he was following me. And this is what I told him. Y'all see that? Cassidy. I said, whenever you ready, just say the word. And let's get it. Right? No response. So when he do these interviews and I listen, I give a breakdown of every lie he do. Every time he say a lie, I do a breakdown on it to show that he lying and prove that he lying. And he go on record on these interviews saying nobody can prove he lying. He answer every question somebody asks him. Remember he just said on another interview, good don't do no interviews. He don't answer nobody questions. Anytime somebody asks me a question, I answer it immediately. I answer every question. I don't care what it is. I go on all these bloggers platform. But mine's, let me guess, I'm not important. You can't use that argument because I'm definitely am important. And everybody know right now I'm the number one blogger in the game and been that way since I got here. And it's not changing. It's not changing. Because people trust for the most part me to take care of that business on anybody when it comes to just talking. And breaking things down. And I don't lose debates. I never lost a debate. And I'm not going to lose one. And this will be very easy. He know that. Because he hear how I talk. I did a blog that I know he saw. Called 10 questions. Cassidy. Don't want to answer. Wouldn't answer. I gave seven bombs. And I kept three in the host on purpose. And I said that. I say, when you decide to take me up on this conversation, I'm going to give you the other three. I'm going to give you the first seven right now. So when you decide to come and do it, you already be prepared ahead of time. But he know these questions he can't really get around. Check out the blog. It's up, it's up there. Battle True Cassidy. Ten, ten questions he don't want. Check them out. Check the questions out. But I also noticed I had no idea people were doing Twitter polls on me and Cassidy and tagging him in it, asking, we want to see you in battle truth. We know you're doing everybody else in platform. We want to see you in battle truth. Shouts out to my man, Ben Swayze, for putting me up on that. Uh, some of the One United Front members. And I had noticed when I went to Twitter, people was tweeting them saying, Cassidy, when are you going to talk the battle truth? When are you going to talk the battle truth? He the number one blog in the game. You talking to everybody else? Talk the battle truth. That'll be epic, classic. That'll be the biggest one you ever done in battle rap. In battle rap. Lo and behold, lo and behold, when I went back, to Twitter to reach out to him 
before this battle happens today. You know what happened? It say you can no longer send direct messages to this person. Only sent to him one message. Let's go. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready. I even did another blog because I know he probably intimidated of the transsexual thing. I wouldn't doubt it. But that's the thing no man wants to come out on them, especially if they're in hiding and secret in a closet. I even said, I won't even use the tranny. We only got to talk about the tranny thing. Let's just talk battle rap. Let you talk battle rap about your record, your accomplishment, why you the GOAT. Because I got a lot of stuff to show why you not. And I definitely can argue my point. And you won't get away with what you're talking about. So come to find out, he blocked me from Twitter. He blocked me. Not the guy who ain't afraid, not the guy who acts everything, not the guy who ain't ducking, not the guy who going on everybody media battle rap tour, but you duck the number one battle rap blogger in the game. And people may be like, oh, you want him on? No, I really don't care. The people asking for that. Y'all know I don't need nobody. I do good fine by myself. The numbers I, <coughs> let me tell you something. The numbers I can get for him, I can drop myself. The numbers I get off him, I can drop myself. I do five, six, seven, eight, ten blogs. I do whatever I want to do. If I say, you know what? I want to do 12 blogs. I do 12 blogs. Get my numbers. It don't matter. I'm going to get my numbers regardless. Regardless. If he on, if he not, it's not going to stop my numbers. So my point of what I'm saying is the people wanted it. But I, I already know. I told people this out the gate. He's not going to accept that. I'm different. He know I'm different. He, he can hear everybody talk. He know I'm different. He then took a couple shots. I peeped that by knowing what I already put out there. He liking these bloggers talking about I'm delusional and I'm right. Because I did the blog. Cassidy is delusional. Then people started copying it. Oh, he's delusional. He's delusional. He, look, he know. I'm one of the reasons why this stuff is buzzing like this about him. It ain't really so much about him. I've been on that dude to the point it was drawing a lot of attention. He know that. He know that. And then people started then questioning him. And that's what blew it, blew it up. I started doing it first. Check the files. Go to it. That's why people are like, man, you all you doing is bombing on Cassidy. I was bombing from the gate. I'm the first one was bombing from the gate, getting all that attention. He he see it, he watching his name involved. I ain't some Rudy Poop, Rinky Dick, little dude. No matter what nobody say, I made the Source magazine my first year being here. And it read Battle Rap Bloggers, most respected. Battle rap bloggers. Me, angry fan, Jay Black, Minnesota Luke. What? What? So we ain't trying, we ain't gonna do that. And every platform, big or small, want me on it. Y'all just heard ARP like, man, wanna bring you up, put you on stage, give you stage passes, fly you out. Yeah. Same thing North said. See, they people know greatness in the making, they see it. They see it. I know how to brand myself. Because I know I'm worth something. I'm worth something. Now when people want me to come out to their events, they got to pay me. I ain't like these other dudes. You got to pay me. Because I'm worth something. I'm different. <coughs> when I announced I was coming to Summer Madness in New York, internet was going crazy. But that was before we knew they were taking it to uh, Las Vegas. They was going crazy. Math and them all, oh, you coming, you coming? Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. Plenty of people calling me. Hey, yeah. yeah. I'm worth something. So you can't, that ain't gonna work. You can't escape that one. You were scared. 
Let's just be honest. And you know it. You were scared. We know you're not going to take take the uh, 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 the interview now. You only got one day. You only got one day left. So we know you're not going to take it. But it is what it is, fam. It is what it is. All I'm saying is, that was foul. So you do pick and choose. You do duck. We could have talked previously before the interview. And if there's anything you didn't want to talk about, we didn't have to talk about that. I know what you're running from. And it's not only one thing. You're running from everything. I could challenge everything you say. I could challenge everything you say. Your undefeated record. You being the GOAT. You being the, <coughs> the pillar of battle rap. You making it. You, I could challenge all that. You being responsible for the bag. No. I could challenge all that. You didn't even get the bag. What are you talking about? That stuff didn't come to years and years and years later. You were not responsible for the bag movement. Get up out of here. Oh, I asked Mook to get, get come with the bag. That was the first time it was mentioned. Man, everybody was coming with the bag. It's battle rap. It always been about the bag. What are you talking about? Get up out of here with that trash. You rapping for free for everybody else. But now when it comes to Mook who want to kill you, he got to go get the bag. He got to go. You telling the street ghetto dude who from the hood living in Harlem projects to go get $100,000. Shut the hell up, Cassidy. Shut up. Shut up, man. Flip out of here with that trash. You rapping for everybody for free, but you can smoke him, but you don't want this extra $20,000 that you can freely get because you can just smoke him. Oh, I smoke him. I kill him if the chicken right. Well, make the chicken right. Make the chicken right. If he came with 20,000, you ain't got to get him 10 rounds. Give him one. Give him one. You was scared. You ducked that action. You knew that dude from the hood couldn't come up with no $100,000. Get up out of here with that trash, man. Yeah, I, 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 I invented the bag. I did get up out of here. Nobody even get no. Come do shut up, man. Sound crazy. You not the reason for battle rap success. You definitely didn't. You de your wave definitely wasn't bigger than the Midwest movement wave. I don't know where you get off saying that out your mouth, man. The Midwest movement didn't blow up battle rap. I did that. No, you didn't. Midwest movement definitely did. You want to debate that? You want to debate that? Dude, you knew what you did. You blocked me because you couldn't handle the truth. You know. You ain't a stupid dude. You talk like you got to some degree, to some degree, because you still delusional as hell, to some degree, a little intelligence. You blocked me, but you are still watching me. You already know, brother. I ain't nothing like three-letter men. I ain't nothing like Norbs. I ain't nothing like Angry Fan, 15 Minutes of Fame, Hip Hop is Real. Wherever you want to go, I ain't nothing like that. Because I got some questions, bro. And it could just be just pertaining to battle rap. You wasn't going to be able to handle it. You didn't want that embarrassment because you knew you were bodying everybody else. And you didn't body verb neither. I don't know why people saying that. People don't even listen. He got the hell up off that phone when it came to Verb. Verb was letting him know, I will smoke your dumb A. That's what Verb said to him. I will smoke your dumb A. What's up with me? You know you ain't 3 on me. What's up with me? All that talking you doing, what, forget good. What's up with me? What, what, what you want to do? What you talking about? Now, you got to worry about Lux. You got to worry about Lux being on your plate. Look, you say, man, look, forget all that. Lux is, you can't compare Lux to good. You get what I'm saying? Get up out of here. He was scared. He don't. He run from that smoke. He do a lot of ducking. But it's alright. We know. I know your kind, brother. I know your kind. You 36. I'm 44. I'm almost 10 years older than you. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. You can't talk street talk to me. You can't talk money to me. All that stuff don't mean nothing, bro. Because I done done it, been there, had that, got that. What are you talking about? That stuff don't work. Let's talk about these real facts pertaining to battle rap that you believe is true, that we for the majority know is false. And that's what he ran from. He did not want me to be the one that people be like, damn, truth.
body, Cassidy. He know that. He know that. He didn't want that. See, he know what he can get away with. <coughs> he can't get away with Caps. Caps letting him, let him get away with that trash. Caps supposed to smoke him easily, but he wants the interview. Everybody know Caps smart as hell when it comes to this battle wrapped up. If that was anybody else other than Cassidy, man, Caps would have bodied them. But it's Cassidy. He not going to say nothing. Y'all made me so sick. You and Dot made me so sick. Y'all, boy, I want to violate y'all so bad, man. Y'all was sitting up there acting like acting like straight up groupies. Y'all acting like straight up groupies, man. Like drooling over this man. Just, oh, Cassidy, oh, fact, that is so true. You is, man, buy the man some flowers and candy. Why don't you? Ask him for a date. I hear he paying $2,000 for men. I don't know how true it is, but that's what they said allegedly. These debates, you lost, Cassidy. You forfeited. That's a loss. See how I work in battle rap? <coughs> you forfeited. You lost to me. I won this debate. You lost. You lost. See how you don't escape? And this your boy, Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment that's some question. It's yours. I can't wait till Saturday night. You better do good and be on your best behavior, brother. I actually want you to do good, though. Because I definitely want to see you battle Verb or Hitman. I prefer Hitman. This your boy, Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.